You are not alone, my friend, and asking for help, it isn't a weakness. Hi bloggers, welcome back to a BOH TV and your weekly installment of Friday Focus, your place to discover your focus for the week ahead. I'm here to teach you how to get a breakthrough with your online presence so you can build your confidence and make an impact. So this week's Friday Focus, I want you to tap into your energy go-tos. Some days you want to get pumped, other days you want to turn that way down. When you learn what plays well with your energy, you can have different resources on hand to help you get everything done. Let me ask you a few questions. When you want to celebrate a really good day at work, where do you turn? Or if you're having an off day, how do you process that? It could be journaling, meeting a friend for coffee, starting a new Netflix series. But those little things that you turn to in a moment of need can really help to shape your energy. To explain it a bit better, think about music. There's a big difference between listening to Adele's Someone Like You and Beyonce's Love on Top isn't there? They each evoke a different energy in you. They created a vibe and opened up a channel of communication between you and your feelings. Maybe that energy made you feel open, excited, surprised. Basically everything surrounding us, everything we read, how we exercise, everything can evoke a unique energy within us. Your challenge is making sure that you're pointing yourself towards what you need when you need it, your energy go-tos. It's about making sure that what you're doing and who you're with is serving you the most. So I wanted to run through how you can identify your energy go-to, starting off with who you spend your time with. I think I said this in a recent Friday Focus video, but we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Now, I know that we don't always have control over who we spend our time with, but we do have control over who we spend our time with in our free time. Just like a song, people play different roles when it comes to our energy. It might be a chilled friend who doesn't need you to be on after a rough day, or a really high energy friend who always knows the best thing to do to put you in a good mood. So if you're in need of some energy, gravitate towards the people who show up for you physically and emotionally. Go to the people you want to celebrate your wins with or go to that person who you can talk about your feelings with, even if they're confusing for you. But the most important thing is to look for the people who come to you when you ask for help. Next, let's go over what you listen to. It might be music or podcasts or both, but what you want to do is make a note of whatever you're putting into those pretty little ears of yours and how it makes you feel. Take podcasts, for instance. They create such a feeling of shared intimacy that allows us to connect over shared human experiences. They can leave us feeling less alone, which is really effective for dealing with mental health. Take note of what podcasts or playlists affect your energy levels for the better. Next, we'll move on to what you read. This is very similar to podcasts because what you read can give you such powerful insights into someone else's experiences and they can provide their own source of energy. Fiction, for instance, has been proven to make the world a better place because it increases our empathy. Whoever you relate to or are inspired by, reading not only fuels us, it also lowers our stress levels too. Research has shown that even just six minutes of reading can decrease your stress levels by 68%. Notice what serves you best when it comes to what you read. And if you feel your energy levels are low, then go ahead and dig in. Finally, let's look at what you work on. Do spreadsheets make you happy? Crack on with those. Love a good brain dump? Make time for it. The important thing is that it's not just about the work we do. It's about the way we do the work and those are what offer different sources of energy. Take a look at what you can control when you go to work 
and try and do more of what best serves you. Set time aside to do what makes you happy. And know that every type of work doesn't have to lead to money or be a side hustle. It can simply just be something that allows you to express and practice your creativity. Energy is so complex. But whether it's beating burnout or something deeper, it can always get better. You are not alone. Seek out the vibes that serve you because you're the one that gets to decide those vibes and when to change it up. So today I want you to check in with yourself and see what you need and whether your energy go-tos will help you get there. Make a list under each topic we've just gone through and if not, then discover some new things to add to your list. What are some of your energy go-tos? Please leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. If you'd like this slice of Friday focus in your inbox every single week, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss an episode. That's all for today, vloggers. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe for more strategy solutions so you can get one step closer to a breakthrough. You just lost it.